the year is 2017. You open up the SoundCloud app on your iPhone 8 and see this new mixtape from a rapper named Playboy Cardi. You press play and give it a listen. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? You and your friends hop on this new video game called Fortnite Battle Royale. You don't really know how to play yet, so you just hide in a bush. Meanwhile, Fidget Spinners, Salt Bay, the Solar Eclipse, and the Drive-By Dunk Challenge have social media in a chokehold. Life was good, and definitely so was the music. 2017 was the year that rap officially became the number one genre of music in the United States. Led by some of the most unique and polarizing figures such as XXXTentacion, Playboy Cardi, and Lil Pump to name a few, these genre-bending new artists would forever change hip-hop as we know it. Then combined with the continued rise and certified stardom of the 2016 class, along with of course a little added nostalgia, in this video we'll see why many fans consider 2017 as the best year ever. It's crazy to think that 2017 was six years ago. Simply put, 2017 was a legendary year for hip-hop. From some of the biggest mainstream names dropping fire projects like Kendrick Lamar, Drake, Jay-Z, Post Malone, Migos, as well as Future's fifth and sixth albums releasing just a week apart, to then all of the new up-and-coming artists we saw burst onto the scene, many of them proving they were here to stay. While 2016 introduced us to these future stars like Lil Uzi Vert, 21 Savage, and Lil Yachty who all helped ignite this new wave, 2017 ushered in an entire entire fresh group of young rappers who would build on their sound and continue to revolutionize the industry. One of the main leaders of this movement was 19-year-old Florida artist XXXTentacion. The massive success and impact that X was able to have in his short career may honestly never be seen again. X had been making music since 2013 but would begin receiving mainstream attention in 2017 with Look At Me. Although released two years prior, Look At Me blew up following some controversy with Drake, one of the biggest artists in the world, after Drake previewed a new song titled KMT at his show. Fans started calling Drake out for stealing X's flow from Look At Me, and I'll agree it does sound very similar. After hearing the snippet, X would tweet his frustration saying, I'm not the first person he bit, nor will I be the last. Drake a pussy, money don't buy you respect. Drake later went on to deny these rumors, claiming that he never even heard the song but could see how people drew comparisons, except X still wasn't buying it. I hear da 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 my da I'm like, what the f As soon as it started, like, I knew. I knew he was getting that. Like, they did a mashup. They put his verse on my song, and they the cadence is literally just at the same tempo. You, it, it's not offbeat at all. Regardless though, this would all help the song go viral and put XXXTentacion on the map. With its extremely heavy and distorted bass, Look At Me was really unlike anything we'd ever heard in the mainstream. However, the reason X was so praised as an artist was due to his versatility, and how he was able to blend multiple different styles into his music. Along with Lil Peep, X is credited as one of the early pioneers of the emo rap subgenre that exploded in 2017, then carried on by Juice World the following year, fusing aspects of hip-hop, trap, punk, and rock as well as with lyrics centered around heartbreak and depression, emo rappers were able to quickly gain cult followings due to their vulnerability. It's like trying to consume me, it's almost like it's, like it's trying to get inside of my mind, you know? So I've started to look at myself very differently and beat myself up. And you guys are the only thing that gives me hope. Back in January of 2017, Lil Peep was labeled as the future of emo by Pitchfork. Unfortunately though, his career was cut short just a few months later after an overdose on fake pills. Peep's death brought even more attention to the genre and to artists such as Lil Aaron, Lil Tracy, and Trippy Red. Trippy Red was another upcoming artist who exploded onto the scene in 2017, releasing still my favorite Trippy projects, A Love Letter to You 1 and 2, both in that same year. Trippy quickly became one of the hottest new artists due to his unique uniqueness. He would link up with his quote best friend X for their biggest hit F Love on X's debut album 17. The release and success of 17 in August was a defining moment for emo rap in the mainstream, as the album would go on to debut at number 2 on the Billboard 200. Along with that, their now 9 time platinum Nick Mira produced track F Love would soon become the number one most streamed song ever on SoundCloud, which is pretty crazy. Posted an Instagram snippet the night after X had, he had texted me and he was like, bro, I need that. I sent it to him. And he was like, bro, I'm putting this on my album. I'm like, all right, bet. 
If SoundCloud as a platform wasn't already mainstream, then the 2017 class definitely carried it there. As the new go-to for up-and-coming artists to post their music for free, SoundCloud honestly changed the game, dominating the younger demographic of hip-hop fans. There was just something so organic about the SoundCloud era. Artists were literally recording platinum songs from their bedrooms, then uploading them whenever they felt like it. When the SoundCloud scene was at its height, there were unsigned underground artists doing more numbers than mainstream acts. No label pushed, just a loyal audience. It was an era, says Lyrical Lemonade founder Cole Bennett, whose music videos were also a staple of that time period. Then the labels caught on and nothing has been the same since. Everything feels so artificial now. It wasn't only SoundCloud either, but streaming as a whole continued to drastically transform the music industry. With a total of 400 billion streams, 2017 saw a 43% increase compared to the year prior, as Apple Music and Spotify were making it easier than ever for us fans to listen to music. It was truly a special time. However, it was also a controversial one. We call it mumble rap. Oh, so y'all got a name for it? Yeah, me and my homies. I mean, it ain't no disrespect to the little homies. That's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them niggas sound the same. At first, it honestly seemed like the rap community was split down the middle. Although I've never liked the term, mumble rap would soon become synonymous with these new age artists. And while it originated the year prior, 2017 would give us even more artists that fit that description perfectly. One of the most popular being Atlanta rapper Playboy Cardi. Following the release of his debut commercial self-titled mixtape in April, Playboy Cardi became the most talked about upcoming artist. Thanks to his unique and original sound style and flow, Cardi was another breath of fresh air in the scene. You know, I feel like, honestly, we all got a different sound too, and that's even better. You know what I'm saying? You got 21 and Star shit. You got Yachty on his mainstream shit. You got Uzi on his rock star shit. You got me on my pop star shit. It just all goes. Everyone fits in a, in a, different, in a different lane. Yeah. However, fans of older hip-hop and more lyrical rap were quick to criticize Cardi and his music. Honestly, I feel like you either loved him or you hated him. Everything sounds like an ad-lib, even the main lyrics. Read the New York Times, it is basically a glorified beat tape with ad-libs. Hip-Hop DX's review stated, But alongside his producer Pierre Bourne, Playboy Cardi has since gone on to become arguably the most influential rapper of the last decade, and this debut mixtape still holds up today. Another controversial lane made popular in 20. 2017 was what many refer to as quote ignorant rap spearheaded of course by one of the most polarizing figures hip-hop has ever seen lil pump again definitely a guy you either hated or loved it's just ignorant shit bro like it's made ignorant shit that's that's catchy bro people fuck with it. that's what people fuck with me after major success on SoundCloud with singles like D. Rose and Boss, Lil Pump would sign to Warner Records two months before his 17th birthday. His minimalistic music was low-key catchy, and his drugged-out teenage persona was working to perfection. He was the prime example of using social media antics to boost your streams. would drop his iconic single Gucci Gang that summer and then his self-titled debut album shortly after, which would both impressively peak at number 3 on the charts. The Florida hip-hop scene in general was on fire back in 2017. There was Lil Pump and his good friend Smoke Perp, who Perp gave us in my opinion a SoundCloud classic with Dead Star 1. There was X and Ski Mask the Slump God going crazy, as well as Denzel Curry and Kodak Black. Oh yeah, and remember Supreme Patty? We also have to give credit to producer Ronnie J for his work on a lot of these Florida hits at the time. Oh my god, Ronnie. And for really helping shape that signature sound with his distorted 808s. I for sure paid attention. I realized, oh, like, okay, like, their sound is more, like, dirty, like, mm. underground. It's not super clean. Because, like, I never knew how to mix. So, you know, everyone thought I was doing things on purpose. But mm. really, like, I didn't know what I was doing like that. Rap media outlets like No Jumper and XXL also continued to thrive, arguably hitting their prime this year as the genre grew by the day. 2017 was a special time to be a fan of hip-hop. However, some fans argue it was only a preview of what was to come the next year in 2018. Stay tuned for that video coming soon. But thanks to the perfect storm of new artists bringing a fresh sound and style to the game, the continued rise of streaming platforms including SoundCloud, again a little nostalgia, as well as with just an exciting and original energy around the genre, 2017 will go down as a legendary year for music.